D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy True Billy. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the clutch. Hey. hey. Already. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the BG today, you feel me? Eight most disturbing things discovered in a basement. I hope it's not that guy. <laughs> I really hope it's not. Eight most disturbing things. <laughs> I'm sorry, on the fence <laughs> in basement. Well, we don't have basements down here in Houston, so we, we don't have, have to worry addicts. about that. We have yeah, addicts. We got this addicts. I've always wanted a basement, though. I ain't gonna lie, because I always wanted to, like, man cave it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be like a double clubhouse. Bro. Yeah, like a double man cave. As long as you ain't got actual, you know, weird, disturbing stuff down there, you good. Well, no, yeah. No, no, no. Make them gut that out and make sure we. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah, just a couple of bones. Don't worry about it. No. Add to the aesthetics. Oh, yeah, sweep it on the corner. Yeah, man. sweep bones. it. Bones! <laughs> uh, make sure y'all run up the likes, keep on subscribing. We're almost to 800K, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. So run up them it. subscriptions, man. Get us to 800K so that way we can go ahead and speed towards that milli for this year. I mm -hmm. think we're in the home stretch. Once we get to 800, nine, y'all can do that, man. 200K ain't nothing. Yeah, let's do this, right, Let's man. go. See you the music. Watch this during the daytime. This first discovery happened to multiple students of right, Ohio State University That's back in bad. September of 2013. The group of students only recently started leasing an off-campus house close to the school. And it was in this house where Wait. they would make a disturbing find in the basement. Uh-oh. Only a month after moving in, the students would start to notice small yet strange occurrences in the house. Things like cupboards, their oven, and even their microwave being left open. What? The house was three stories, with five students on the first floor and ten others on the second and third. So obviously it was difficult to keep track of everyone. It's a lot of people. But when they realized none of them were responsible, they decided to search the house, <laughs> more specifically the basement. Oh, shit. What they found was a locked door. Nigga, we all going down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, going down there. Oh. we all going down there as a group. We all open that door to the same When's y'all off period? Oh, y'all off period? All right, let's, let's go. We going down there together. In the morning. In the Which morning. they'd originally assumed was a utility closet that the landlord wanted to be kept locked. No, at no point in time was this confirmed. And after calling the landlord about it, they were informed this wasn't the case. The door should not have been locked for any reason. The landlord would end up sending a maintenance worker to check it out. And after breaking down the door, a room that was clearly being lived in was revealed. Oh. The room had framed photos and school textbooks scattered around. Oh, damn. The students would change all the locks that night and leave a note for whoever was living in the room saying to call them. The man would actually end up calling the number and later be removed from the household. It turns out the guy was a cousin to one of the house's previous residents, which is how he Why got a key in the make first it place. Creepy, bro? Oh, the one of the students even recalled running into the man in the basement at one point earlier in the month and asking who he was, but <laughs> oh. only to be met with a very vague answer. They gotta live here, Ultimately, they? the students would blame the leasing company of the home for the incident, yeah, yeah. they were responsible for failing to change the locks from the year before. Oh, disappointed. Exactly. Try to make this shit all creepy. Right. <laughs> I mean, you don't know who the fuck down there. Oh, pause it, bro. This nigga, man. This cousin Phil, man. He just been here. But they would discover it's a locked door. Yeah, They called it? the landowners and found out the door was not supposed to be locked. It wasn't. It's like, bro, you make you think niggas is hiding yeah, bodies in there or something. Motherfucker heating pizza rolls. And, uh, right. Hey, man. Hey, 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 get out of here, man. Shit. That's why the, the, the microwave and oven stayed Right. <laughs> man named Christopher Town would make a life-threatening <laughs> discovery while helping his friend move furniture in his basement. Unknown to both of them at the time was the fact that the house itself was built over a well. Mm -mm. And so at one point, when Christopher was making his way across so the room, the floorboards <laughs> just underneath him would snap, which caused him to fall the 25 foot drop oh, to the bottom. Man, damn. Fortunately, there was water at the bottom to break his fall. Jesus. Though this meant Christopher would have to use the rocks on the wall to hold his head above the water while he waited for the local fire department to damn. arrive. And to make things worse, the water itself was at an extremely low temperature. Though, after only a few minutes, the fire department was able to successfully get Christopher Imagine. out using a hauling system. This nigga and other than almost getting hypothermia, own. Christopher would make it out unhurt. Who, who built a house over a well? No. That's crazy. Mike Carroll was a man who lived in a small house in Lake Grove, New York, uh -oh. which was the same house he had grown up in. On them builders. Mike was 57 Facts. at the time, and only a few months prior had purchased the house. Though, while he was in the basement, Mike would make a disturbing discovery. 
he would find a full set of human bones buried under some dirt. We were just talking about this. What makes this find so disturbing is the fact that the bones match the DNA of his father. When Mike was only eight months old, his father was said to have gone missing. And throughout his childhood, he would question his mother about this. But each time, he was given a different story. So, of course, this made Mike want to find out for himself what had really happened to his father. You know what happened, Mike? Which is what gave him motivation to buy his childhood house in the first place. Oh, wow. The newly found bones would obviously cause blame for the disappearance to be shifted onto his mother. Yeah. Though, she had unfortunately passed away 20 years prior. Damn. So, there's no way of confirming if she was responsible or not. And therefore, what really happened will forever be unknown. That's wild, bro. Uh, bro. That's a wild one. Ain't a lot yeah, that is, That's know, crazy. Shit. In January of 2016, an appliance repairman was responding to a call from house owner Charles Price. Though, while the repairman was working in the basement, he would claim to have noticed something moving in a covered container in a back corner. Nope. Mm -mm. Curious, the repairman would lift off Curious. the cover and be met by a 200-pound alligator. Oh! <laughs> but before running, the repairman would capture multiple pictures for proof to show the police. Before running. It turns out the house owner had the alligator for more than 20 years oh! and was supposedly using it to help him with the house's mouse infestation. He would illegally keep the creature in a... You can get so you, do you... Why you ain't just get working or something? Like you really... Mouse traps, sticky pads. So you this have to... This nigga had an alligator in the basement for 20 years. This nigga just eating on rats. What? Uh, bro, that's fucked up, understand. bro. <laughs> Why did you just jump to that type of? That's life, an like, extreme. You let this man live in a basement. Was this in Florida? I can't. <laughs> they say. I can imagine. Bro, what the? Cage in his basement and claimed to occasionally take him out into his backyard. Shortly after the repairman made the report, the alligator was confiscated by local animal control and later released into a better environment. Right. Bro, this nigga just been sitting in the nigga basement for 20 years, bro. This discovery was posted to Reddit by an account under the oh. name Daily Dish. Reddit. In the post, the Redditor explains how a few years ago they Redditor? shared a house with some friends. Mm -hmm. And they in the first few months of living in the house, Reddit. they hadn't spent much time in the basement. The, user. the basement was oh. half finished, with the other half being a sort of dirt crawl space that extended under the porch of the house. They went on to explain how one night they decided to explore it more thoroughly. Of course. And after grabbing a flashlight, they discovered a black canvas duffel bag in the very back of the dirt crawl space. Disturbingly, in the duffel bag were two black ski masks, a hunting knife, and a single black leather glove. Oh, shit. The Redditor went on to explain how they decided to call the non emergency police number and report the discovery. Though the police weren't interested, and therefore the house owners decided to set fire to everything but the hunting knife. Whether that bag had any relation to any sort of criminal activity is still unknown to this day. We'll never know. We'll never know. Hey guys, we potentially got some weapons or something. Hey, no problem. Figure it out. Burn it. What? Burn it. Fuck out of here. What? That could be the, the, the thing to solve a so case. Solve a, uh, hey, Bob, we still going for donuts? All right. <laughs> right. right. That's exactly. I'm still on the phone with you. Some idiot saying that he found a, a <laughs> knife and a ski mask. One of the Chief Wiggums. And, uh, <laughs> Thanks, dog. All right. This next discovery comes from a guy who moved into a studio apartment in England. Oh, damn. The guy claimed to have moved into the apartment without even viewing the place. And on arrival, he would discover something pretty disturbing. Well, that's his fault. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. It's pretty small, pretty nice. Pretty. Rent was pretty cheap, so I moved in without even viewing the place. So far, but and then when I got here, I realized why the rent was so cheap. Yeah. The guy then goes on to give a tour of the apartment. And after a while, this sort of trap door on the floor can be seen. Got a bathroom, pretty standard. <laughs> Fucking trap door, bro. And then we look down here. <laughs> what the fuck, What's bro? this? What in the hell? It's definitely a handle. So I figured, you know, a bit of underfloor storage. Right. So let's lift underfloor this up. Underfloor storage. That looks like it goes in pretty deep. Oh, nah, bro. Featured directly whoa, under whoa, this guy's whoa. apartment is some sort of dungeon looking basement. Man, this nigga went down, going down there by yourself. I, I, the I, can already, I can already tell my man is yeah. he's one of those guys. Oh, yeah. You move into a place and don't even check it out, you're one of those guys. Oh, let me check this <clears throat> dark, dangerous, potentially dangerous. It's all right. I, I'm, I'm being recorded, so I should be safe. At least yeah, you know the shit that go on on movies is real. No, it's like, no. as far as like how some people they oh, depict no, the, people. Yeah, this is the, what you see in movies. How people do just ridiculously dumb stuff. This is real life. They don't. Have, they're not acting. This is it. This is 
Why? She don't got no whipping. Oh, you can see a car dot going off straight. There ain't the no way. On the last week, I'm gonna try some graffiti on the wall. That's some Blair Witch type shit. You see somebody standing it's in the like corner. A brick seat or bed. Compared to the rest of the apartment, the area itself is pretty big, featuring many large rooms and corridors. God damn! What exactly this area was used for is unclear. How? This nigga got maze under his house. I'm good. Way back in 2002, a homeowner in Jefferson County, Wisconsin, hey, found out that the foundation of her house was deteriorating. And so in November, she would apply for a loan to repair the foundation. But around two weeks later, while away at work, she would get a call from the workers hired to do the repair, explaining how they came across a gruesome discovery. Uh -oh, not they explained that as they started to remove the soil from the foundation wall in her basement, they had unearthed the full skeletal remains of a body. Oh, damn. The skeleton was determined to be that of a 50-year-old male. Most disturbingly, though, is the fact that after further inspection, it was determined that the house had been built right on top of an ancient burial ground that's estimated to be up to 170 years old. Oh, wow. no. Experts believe that in all likelihood, hundreds more skeletons are within a close proximity to the one found. Damn. This discovery would ultimately put a stop to the house's renovation altogether. <laughs> are you up? Back, man. Are you out of here? <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with them ancient burial grounds. You nope. know what? I was wondering why shit was just turning on and turning <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Y'all ain't got to- I'm good, bro. Hell no. Nah. Don't stop that process, man. Mm -hmm. Really? No. Mm-mm. I'ma just move to a whole nother county. Fuck in that. January of 2010, Wally and Linda DeForest would move into their new home in Goshen, Indiana. Though, only a week after moving in, the couple would discover a live torpedo in their basement. What? Something they obviously weren't aware of beforehand. Oh, fucking dude. Both of them noted how old the thing looked, but still obviously active. There had been no drill holes to indicate it had been disarmed. Oh, no. The couple would end up calling the police. Hell yeah. Send out a bomb squad to extract the torpedo from the property's basement. They don't even want to touch it. Luckily, they were able to remove it without incident. A live torpedo? But considering the squad did confirm the explosive was still active upon arrival, the whole situation just makes you think how much worse things could have really gone. Oh, nah, bro. Nah, you, you definitely got to... <laughs> hey, hey, whoever sold you this house? Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to talk. We got to talk. You sold me a house with a uh, live how, fucking... How'd how that get down there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how the fuck you have a live tour? Oh, oh, oh you, you call the police. Oh, yeah. Now I'm about really? to let my house look yeah. for all kind of shit now. We got a fucking Making live... Making sure there's no doors and nothing. Live torpedo <laughs> just sitting in the basement and no one... Hey, we may want to investigate that. Get that out of here, bro. Yeah. Really? What the... Hey, be careful. The hey. attics are just as bad though because mm -hmm. people rarely go into the attic. Yep. Check, check whatever you house, apartment, whatever you get into, go actually check it out. Mm -hmm. Do some research on the place. Yeah. Something, man. Check it every week, bro. You never know what. Just like. check it out, bro, because mm -hmm. you don't want to be in a situation you buy your new house and now you got a fucking torpedo in your basement. Exactly. That's crazy. Mm -mm. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, bro. But hey, man, if y'all enjoyed that video, man, let us know if you found anything crazy uh, where you're living at or mm -hmm. if you kind of came across anything weird or strange in the comments down below, man. But appreciate y'all for joining as usual, man. Clutch Squad, of course, is the best squad, and I know we're your favorite trio Facts. coming at y'all, man, trying to get to a milli, so make sure y'all run up some likes, subscribe, help your boys out, man. we catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.